father somehow had cancer and wasn't able to get started. That's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> I totally got you there. You, you didn't know what to say. We get a shaman versus a druid, and I like Alice starting hand a lot there with the hex. It's just great. It's super strong against an innovate yeti, for example. Absolutely. What else do you want to do? You would need to like one well, lightning bolt plus run in your unbound, something yeah. like that already. So the hex is so valuable early on. Plus a black mage. Oh, oh, you know what? Turn two. Turn no. two obvious play. No, it's definitely not gonna be the Seldis. Well, I agree with you there. You don't want to do the card draw again. Oh, it's token for Echo. Well, I'm not surprised actually. He played token last week yeah, already. Yeah, he did. As did Nims, if I'm not mistaken, and Colento. Not sure. Like two I or think three I, players. Yeah, most of them play. I'm. Uh, did Colento? Yeah, I think he started with token. No, he started with Rogue and then went for Paladin, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he won. He won with Paladin. Yeah. That's correct. So now, Echo could clear this easy mode or Ras, whatever he wants to do. I actually would have preferred uh, just hero ability clear. Uh, Taking the three damage because the shaman burst is well not too high in most of the cases. Yeah, but what are you going to do against the unbound elemental? That's just my point there. Yeah, exactly. Or even a harvest golem. Yeah. So if he has if he has a second ras, I never said anything. That it's just like okay, we'll, we'll play the echo. I but don't. It's know. like the, we say the same thing over and over again. You don't need to use the ras if you can make use of your hero ability. You'd rather keep it. Or well, it could be that echo has like the hell draw of doom. <laughs> and it's like his hand cards are so crappy that he well, absolutely needs swipe. to do this. Uh, no, coin violate. violate. That will get hexed. Yeah, of course. I mean, no surprise. He should trade into the 2 1 first, though. Absolutely. What? Yeah, I would have traded into the 1 1. Yeah, exactly. I'm a bit of surprised he didn't do it. Mm, yeah, I'm just surprised he didn't do it, I have to say. Decisions. In the end, if, if there is a RAS, it doesn't make a difference. If there is a in Innovate Wrath now, Innovate Power of the Wild, then it was actually not so optimum. Innovate Power of mm. the Wild, but Alish has Selness and the Lightning Storm. Yeah, so he will be able to clear the board. And the great thing is that your 2-2 your is almost dead. Yeah, what, whatever. You don't care. Yeah, Selness, Lightning Storm. Or you could go Greedy Mode also and just drop the second Unbound. Yeah, and go go lightning bolt and trade, so he can go for the violet lightning bolt into the the violet and trade it with his uh, minion. That is okay. I mean, la next turn you can still go for blood mage Selness and lightning storm, and you get more one ones additionally. I think that was okay for Alish. He could have just cleared the board, but he chooses to actually go for some value minions on the board. Wow, this is gonna be this is gonna be great. Wow. If Akob ain't trading, that would be a super safe play. It's still it's still good. It's not super safe though. If he gets lucky. Yeah, Selna's lightning storm. If he gets lucky, that would be so great. Just wrecking the complete board of Akob. Nope, it doesn't get lucky. No, it looks like some someone's entirely unhappy with what happened here. Oh. And you need to attack. If you don't attack, he's just gonna power swipe. Yeah, yeah and your board is clear. And that BM, my thanks to you. Ekov cannot not do it. Well, that's classic Ekov. Wow. This sucks so much. It was a really good move for Alish in the end. It was good for Ekov trading. So if he went with the two twos just in his face, mm. that would have been a misplay. And like this, he made his whole move safer. Oh, this is going to hurt so much. If Ekov really has a swipe... Hmm... The only good thing for Alish is he can actually follow up. So there might be a swipe and a hero ability. Yeah, but he's down to two cards. Oh, he's going to get at least a third one with Selness. And uh, not, so he's going to go up to four, four. again. The mm. swipe is devastating. Like, no, no secret. But uh, I think it's okay. He can establish some board control afterwards. Maybe even get an Azudrake. So could draw another card. That if, would be great value. there is a swipe. If there is a swipe, yeah, that, that was oh, it. Oh, okay. Face swipe, obvious. Oh, innervate something or just your mana tie totem. Loot order. Yeah, oh, that, that's an initial yeah. target. Easy. Well, the question is, are Azur Drake, so, so you really get it. And he goes for the totem, so he needs to card draw, wants the card draw. He's, he's giving the board to Echo by doing that. Yep. 
I think I would have liked... I'm not sure if I like the Unbundled Mental more. He can still drop Azure Drake Unbound next turn. The thing is, he had the Azure Drake already on his hand, so I would have preferred the Unbound Earthshock. I'm not entirely sure. I like what he did, since if he draws a Fire Elemental sooner and sooner, that's what he really wants. Then it was just okay and great. Um, oh. Is that going to be the rest? Yep. Uh, Second one. It's yeah. good. It's good. I mean, if you drop the Azure Drake and your enemy is getting his Azure Drake plus a Rass, so now you just avoided one Rass. Is he going to get a Knife Juggler? Still flood the board. Yeah, just just uh, put out your stuff. Another Argent Squire. This is exactly not what you want to get after you yeah, run out of spells, options to kill your enemy. I like the Golden Knife Juggler. That one looks great. Looks fancy. Absolutely. I mean that green that green knife there juggling on his hand. For Echop, four cards in hand, eight mana. Oh, Keeper. Keeper. Wow, that's annoying. But the good thing is one knife juggle actually hit the tree, so he can trade there. That's great. And he's quite healthy. I mean he's on twenty two if the hero ability would go into the face. I think it's gonna break the shield. But he's on twenty three HP and therefore safe from Force of Nature Roar. It can flood the board again. Flame Tongue for next turn. Argent Squire with a shield. Oh, nice. Uh, that's just perfect, I would say. Attack the phase. Yeah. And next turn, just Flame Tongue, clear the board. And even if there is more, you could clear a lot. Yeah, if there isn't a second swipe, because swipe would be super devastating. A swipe would be just uh, hit the concede button, uh, smash your keyboard, <laughs> uh, smash your laptop into the next wall, and everything. Like the usual procedure that situation oh your two four is going to die probably this is annoying ekop had a really nice uh, charge minion there and he just kills everything perfect i would say second lightning store top deck top deck a file elemental too file elemental great file elemental would be good yeah nope that's no file elemental Doesn't. file elemental now i'm still hoping <laughs> for it <laughs> Taunt? taunt totem oh, oh that's great that's actually not too bad but, well, the too bad goes into, I only have a flame tongue totem in my hand and can't, can't freaking do anything with this. And Echop has three cards. Yeah, Alish doesn't look happy. Oh, another card. I think that ain't going to work out for Alish in the end. No, this game looks like uh, slightly in Echop's favor. It ju just drops everything. <laughs> doesn't care. Power of oh. the Wild. Wow. This is like... Whatever. Lightning Storm, we don't care. Lightning Storm would do work, though. Oh, Philomantle, that's a goodie. So. Taunt him again? Nope. At least he can kill the 5 3. It breaks and the Divine Shield, that's smart. And next turn, he would have. Oh, is there, is there a roar? I mean, that's 5 8 10. He just needs a nature roar. Nature will rise against or you. Or a force of nature, even that. So that's one damage to less, that's correct? That's. Okay. No, that's more than enough. <laughs> that's more than enough. Wow. Uh, that was just devastating. Getting completely <laughs> wrecked here. I'm I'm not surprised this is happening. Uh, so the board gets cleared. Well played by Akob. <laughs> In the end... <laughs> oh, he forgot to deal... Uh, to stomp the totem into the ground. Oh, man. So that's 1-0 for Akob. In that could actually work out. Would you have picked it too? Or do you think something else is better? Against the token druid? Mm, I like Handlock, but I also r really like to play Hunter against it. Yeah, or or actually Control Warrior. I'm still a big fan of Control Warrior against Yeah, but you play Control Warrior against everything. Yeah. Because that's your style. I wanted to say even against your mom, <laughs> but, then, but then I didn't what? do it. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know, that just came into my head. <laughs> You're spending too much time with Timo. Yeah, that's actually the problem. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. We're going to drop into the game here and see how Alish performs against Echo in the second game. His hand isn't the best one. He has the coin. That's great. But there's no giant. There's yep. no, I don't know, not even a silent Sunfury. Well, Sunfury Protector he could drop now to uh, not get flooded completely. Oh. There's a ring turn three. Yeah. I think yeah, so. Yeah, I too. mean, why not? Sh should be the fact here. 
Harvest Golem and Loot Order into Urzen Reinforce here. Or, well, Ancient Watcher is something possible too after you Druid, but at least the Urzen Reinforce here can trade into the minions. I think he's just gonna run in his Loot Order hero ability. Or Ras. We know Echo, he likes to Ras. Like, even one damage Ras, run the Loot Order, draw two cards. Mm. Oh, if he has, the perfect thing would just be Violet Teacher, Innovate, Power of the Wild, trade your 3 4 into the 3 3. That would just be the perfect move. He's taking his time. That means his hands are he crap, or no, he doesn't know trust. what to do. <laughs> he could still go for the card draw, though, and uh, run in the Harvest Golem. Uh, could have considered that. Ooh. Oh, the card draw is on this. So much card draw. It doesn't look good for Alish. Oh, okay. What does Alish have? A Twilight, right? Twilight. Perfect. If there ain't a silence, that was just the perfect thing that could happen. I mean, you drop the Ancient Watcher, you taunt bows up and then great gg the wall of doom well and now if there is a keeper it's gonna get rough for Alish. absolutely he gets keeper selness draws cards for example or the loot order almost like perfect a, um, yeah it could be both yeah i mean you may sacrifice selness don't get the spell damage but the loot order has one attack more i think that's the same if you only do one spell oh five damage swipe kai followed up by running your minions in and drawing cards. I, I think that was good still. I mean, you get a swipe out, no silence. And the si now the swipe is missing for the coin out Sunwalker, for example. Would you coin out the Sunwalker or just play Watcher Sun Fury? Watcher Sun Fury in this situation. Oh, never mind. Or, or Watcher Heal. Well, it's the same. In green, you get another minion to trade. I would have liked the Sun Fury a bit more, uh, since he forced him to run in all your all his stuff into the Taunter. I think that yells for Shadow Flame. If he ain't trading, that yells for Shadow Flame. Well, he's trading. Trade. It's <laughs> obvious. So. Yeah, I'm not surprised there by the trade. Okay, Sunwalker Soulfire. Mm. Yeah, Sunwalker Soulfire. Lose your Defend of Argus. That was actually good. I mean, from all the cards you could lose, you could have lost to Shadow Flame. You could have lost to Siphon Souls. I mean, losing the coin, perfect. Yeah, that would have been great. The Argus is still great. I mean, that ain't the worst card to lose. What is there for Echo? There's a Silence, finally. It's still good, your minion is 4-5, so silence ain't hurting your sword. And he pops one of his roars to actually clear the board. I would call that great for Alish. Yep. Just Echo is using so much to like keep the control, but the minions are not that Now life tap into giant. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, six mana giant. So. Yeah, you cannot coin it. That's so annoying. I remember the times when uh, Handlock came up. I know no Kalanto started it, and I was playing it the first time, and I was like, nice, turn three, I can coin my giant. <laughs> and then I instant conceded. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, after it didn't work. Oh, it was like, I don't know, five months ago when I the first time really tried Handlock. And you coined the mountain giant. <laughs> I, I didn't, I, did, I wasn't familiar with the effect there, and I was just seeing, oh, that's four mana, that's a coin I can make out of three, four mana and oh, play him. Man. Uh, that was a long, long time ago. It still happens nowadays. No, it ain't actually. <laughs> nah. I, I cannot remember when I saw that last time that someone coined and didn't use anything. Okay, we're gonna see Sun Fury Protector probably. He could just do nothing. I mean, he protectors, then there might be the Black Knight. And if he's doing nothing, he can just Shadow Flame. That was a struggle for him. Yeah. So it's Akob having the answers as usual at the moment. Having like answers for everything. I mean, Alash looks super stressed. Yeah, look at his hair, it's getting I don't know, bigger and it's bigger. It's not like he needs to keep up 500 APM right now. And so he needs to brush his hair. What? Get it bigger and more volume into it. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm totally trashing uh, you today. so random. I am totally trashing you today. 
that's my secret plan. Getting my co caster uh, co it's totally it's confused. It's obvious. Okay, we get Echo up here with eight mana. Uh, there could be the random Ragnaros in Token Druid. I don't expect that at all. From all the top decks Echo had at the moment, I'm just expecting a Black Knight. That would be mean. Oh, what? the second keeper. That's. Well, now we just need the top deck Twilight Drake and everyone is happy. Oh, well, at least Alish. Well, he has a giant anyways. And the giant is good, but if you get a Twilight Drake now too, I mean, life tap Twilight Drake? Like that? <clears throat> the problem is, you cannot play the giant. If he has a Force of Nature War, you're toasted completely. Yep. Siphon Soul. He could also life tab. Hope for another Sunfury Protector. Uh, kind of risky. Well, life tab Siphon Soul is still possible. I mean, what you else do you want to do with a two mana? Coin out your big game. Well, coin out your big game hunter. Let's say like this. He could he could Siphon Soul and coin out the big game hunter. Yeah. Still able to play the giant next turn, so that's great. Gonna be eight mana. And he has a Shadow Flame. And a Siphon Soul. Yep. There is a possibility to deal with everything. Hmm. So, Force of Nature Roar. Do we see it from Akop? I mean, he already used one Roar. That's gone. There could be a Force of Nature. That doesn't have to be the second Roar. We haven't seen any model coins by Alish now, until now. Maybe he's getting one, so he can actually model call away his enemies. Akop's draw doesn't seem to be so good. I mean, okay, Druid of the Claw. Really nice. And innervate into six mana. What could that be? Another Druid Ooh. of the Claw. <laughs> the main problem is you just pop your big game hunter. And who are you going to Shadow Flame? Oh, the Warning Shadow Flame. Who are you going to Shadow Flame? Okay, you're right. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, power overwhelming Shadow Flame. Play your giant next turn. That was just the perfect card for Alish to get. Whatever big minion is there from Ekob now. Like, is there, is there a big minion or just a force of nature in his hand? It's a force of nature. If I mean, in the token druid, obvious. if you see a big minion, the only thing that could be in there is a Ragnaros, pretty much. But even that's kind of rare. Okay, we get the Mountain Giant for 8 and the Faceless. I well, think I would just life tap now. If he has force of nature, roar you dead. So, yep. don't, whatever. Life tap, get your giant out. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah. It was close. All of a soul fire out of accident. And if he gets a taunter now, he can faceless taunt. That would be so great. Big game hunter. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Pain. Time to rage. Alish looks like he's crying. Yeah, but the Alish needs to kill the big game hunter. Or a force of nature hero ability kills him. Oh, Ancient Watcher? Siphon Soul. Yeah. The cool thing is he can silence it and faces manipulator the silenced ancient watcher. It ain't a dream, but it's possible. A power of the wild into it seems nothing. Seems like Echo is running out of steam. Uh there is no steam left. Everything is dead. There could be force of nature and I don't know what that random card is in his hand at the moment. A molten giant but no taunter. But that's great. Yeah, but he can... Would yeah. you faceless and silence and... Yeah, and trade. Yeah, faceless, si yeah, faceless silence trade. He could life tap if he wants a... No, 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 no. What? That's just wonderful. That was lucky. Oh, I don't agree <laughs> with... Uh, I think I would have uh, taunted up the right two minions and then faceless. So you w would have had three taunters. Yeah. That would have been slightly better. So you taunt up the Ancient Watcher and the Molten Giant and Faceless the Taunted Molten Giant. Like this, he has one taunter less and he lose, lo loses, lost, lo lost. <laughs> lost his owl. <laughs> yeah, lost his owl. Well, I think Shadow Fly Model Card is what he's going... Wow, another owl. Is that enough? That should be enough, correct? That's 16, uh, 18, 22. Exactly enough with Iron Beak Owl. Damn top decks. Alish... Counting, nodding his head. Wow, that's going to be 1-1 one, one between those two players. Whew.
That oh, was a close one. Well, but yeah, Ekob... as you said, it was a misplay from Alish involved. But when you watch him closely, you see how... Uh, it's going to be handlocked versus... And as as I know Ekob, it's actually going to be backspace. That's going to be backspace. So hardcore. Really? Yeah. He, I mean, Echo played backspace so often already, and he played it against Handlock once too. But didn't he lose with with backspace? I'm not sure. He won once and he lost once. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm not sure in what, uh, like, if, if it was a best of three winning or not. Is he gonna keep the model coil though? Uh, he's really thinking about it. If it's backspace, rope. If it's the, backspace, it's completely worth it. It would be so great, especially against the early loot order. He's mm. gonna throw at him. I definitely don't oh. drop the Molten Giant. No, keep it. I mean, against Miracle, it could be a dead card. But if he's, if he knows that Echo is gonna throw backspace at him, he has to keep it. I 100% totally and with no regrets expect You know backspace. it, but the question I, I is, does Alish know? I don't know it. I'm just absolutely expecting it. I mean, if we could see Echo's hand card, we would know ASAP. But his file was somehow corrupted. Okay, that Twilight Drake I like. That was really good for him. Helps him a lot. Absolutely. Arts and Squires, that, that's backspace. Confirmed. Great for Alish that he kept the stuff he kept. And he gets a Sentry Protector plus a healer already. Those are the perfect cards if you're facing backspace. I mean, the Twilight is also incredibly strong. Basically force Echo into sapping. Absolutely. And if he doesn't have a sap, that's going to be a great obstacle. And I mean, if you have the Twilight and he throws out... Uh... Loot Hoarder confirmed. There's going to be Life yeah. Tap. Mortal Coil perfect for Alish. Even the Hellfire. A Mortal Coil first. See what you get. Inch even the Ancient Watcher. So this... Mm. Now the question is, do you drop the Watcher? And I think yes. Yeah. Because then be... you play the Twilight, put the Sun Fury in between. Echo will just have a lot of trouble. Well, through that. He could have done that turn five also. The best thing is turn five. He has three mana, like he has five mana to play, and not only three because he's playing the engine watcher there. Oh, that's some cold light. <laughs> well, that cold light is three, six, eight cards. He could shadow step it again. I uh, know he cannot. He cannot even shadow step no. it. That was great for Alish. Just giving you, like, Mountain Giant top deck now. <laughs> and even, look at the Twilight Drake. Thank you. Yeah, just 4-9 Twilight Drake, right? Yeah, that that should be 3, 6, 8, 9 cards. Yeah, 4-9 Twilight Drake. Or oh, is he gonna... Is he is gonna, he gonna step? No, uh, uh, he's cold blood. Oh, okay. I, I would be owl top decks. Hmm. The big question for Alej is now, are you really going to play your Twilight? If there is the sap, he just he, deals. Well, they, yeah, but then he can Sun Fury next turn. Either mm -hmm. way. Yeah, whatever happens. I mean, he, he can heal himself up and then Sun Fury. Yep. Even with the sap, doesn't really matter. He gets two taunts. Okay, Cold Light Oracle. That's no sap. Our big owl. Value. Sure. Wow. Value owl. <laughs> Sadly, he cannot owl Shadow Flame. One mana missing for that. Uh, he can Hellfire and. Soulfire, if he wants to clear. Double Cold Blood. Is he is he gonna trade? Wow. It, or if he goes for the phase, big game hunter taunt up. It, is he really going for the phase? That would be big game hunter. Don't. Oh, this is like, please go. <laughs> well, if he goes for the phase, he would bring him down to eleven. Oh, Lira Bird. That's unfortunate, especially with the power Valm. Power overwhelming on his end already. I'm not entirely sure what to do. So you can heal up, taunt up, soul fire. You could also just shadow flame, but you're losing a watcher and you're not getting any other board stuff for this. Yeah, double. I, I, I think watcher, taunt up, shadow flame. Uh, not shadow flame, soul, soul fire. fire. It can help fire also. I think it's okay since you got the molten in hand. Uh, it could be deceiving for Echo now to actually burst the damage. Um, I don't like that the one watcher got damaged, so that's going down to four two. Well, yes, the option to heal it up again. 
Yeah, but look at Alessand. He couldn't afford actually to drop anything from this end. That would have been devastating for him. Oh, Mountain Giant. Wow. And he needs to taunt that one up. Or heal. Like, there are two options. Taunt that one up or heal yourself now. I think taunt, taunt, uh, Soulfire. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. I wanted to say, if, if, the, if he loses the Sun Fury Protector, yeah, not that optimum. Or spell trouble. Are we going to see... Are we going to see the burst, nonetheless? I mean, there could be Arcane Golem, Weapon Up, Celsius Deckhand. There's lit literally no way that he dies now. <coughs> Arcane Golem, Double Cold Blood, Shadow Step, Arcane Golem. Cold Blood was used twice, Mats. Oh, was used twice, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you, so he's not running four? Man, nope, that's not sad. running four. It's I would not run arena. four Cold Bloods. Yep. That's yeah. because you're cheating. Yeah, bad deck for Echo. <laughs> like, only two Cold Bloods confirmed. That's actually sad for Echo. The Wizard Leroy, Shadow Step Leroy, that would have been only 14 damage. Still, I mean, he has two Eviscerates in deck. There is a Loot Hoarder, two damage. Oh. oh. Assassin's Blade, Deadly Poison. Ooh, that's not good. He's going for the face. So that means free Molten Giants. Discount, baby. Oh, he didn't go for the face now. He's still thinking about it. Okay, he was hovering over it. Even if he does the two damage, there's a Molten Giant plus the Taunter, so yep. it's great. If there's a Blade Flurry for Echo, that would be crazy. I mean, the five damage blade, Blade Flurry, uh, he could wreck the whole board pretty good. And he knows Leroy is gone, so he doesn't need to fear Leroy Power Overwhelming Soul Fire combo. 24 damage. Okay, he takes the four, and now we're just going to see those two great giants. He could also uh, make his giant too cheaper if he wants to. Uh, I don't see a reason for it, actually. So he could have attacked the loot order just to make it cheaper, but that makes literally no sense. Uh, two giants, taunt it up, go for the phase. We know there are two saps in Ekop's deck. Even, like, okay, he doubles saps and he Goes has... for the phase and then he deals seven damage and with a blade flurry... Alish can play as many taunts as he wants. Okay, one tap is there. The most annoying thing is that he has no taunter in his hand. God damn it. Alish is so stressed. Yeah, it's Alish crazy. Alish is so close to losing. I mean, that that could be at an end now. Salsi deck end in. Is he going to weapon attack? If he weapon attacks, takes another eight, he's going to drop to seven. And there is six. Six damage on the board. Wow. That was great that he had everything to clear. And the last minion for two mana. What is this going to be? Another deadly poison. Wow, seven damage. And that's just going to be the win for Echo at the moment if there's no top deck taunter. And if there's a blade flurry also. Twilight Drake. Alish needs to life tap into a taunter. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Let's okay. No, no blade flurry and no eviscerate for echo. And this was great. Any of those two, GG. And it's over. Wow. Oh, this is only the first game, and it's already getting crazy. Well, he, he could have two chargers and just like two chargers, kill left, kill right, and win the game. <laughs> that would be so maddening. Oh man, are we, is echo going to win this? Is he going two one against Alish here with the last move? I think if he will win this, we would be already spamming I will be your death. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> but sometimes even an echo is serious. What? I, I just feel that's a blade fury. <laughs> I'm, I'm with Alish. <laughs> Heart beating, sweating, everything. <laughs> Biting your nails. What is this? I would love, I would die for Echo of Sand cards now. Why is this damn file corrupted? It's actually working online. I think it's it's super, super interesting right now. Exciting. Yeah, it's definitely exciting. I mean, wow, I'm so feeling with Alish. If Echo is doing the BM, I lose, or the BM, <laughs> I, I get the win, no problem. He could actually have an SI, uh, like a Charger plus an SI7 agent also. Okay, there's Leroy. 
Is that a guard? Is, it, is that an Defias ringleader uh, for two mana? There should be anything. Lesslery? No. Did he just kill himself? Did he just kill himself with a? Uh, I mean, there would have been only six damage. There's one damage to 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 less. Yeah, it's one damage short. Uh, so you're gonna play the Sunwalker and trade is, everything. Is there still a sap? There is. There should be one sap left. There are normally two saps in this deck. Oh, but the sad thing, Alish cannot win. Maybe he should have gone the full YOLO life tap into Soulfire. What? Just, just hope for the best. No. <laughs> if he life taps into a defender of Argus, that would have been enough too. That's true. No, but he did he, he play one, and did he lose one? No, he didn't lose there, one. There was there's one left. He no. lost the Leroy. That Sunwalker top deck was pretty good. So let's let's say like this. That was great already. Uh, he could have gone full YOLO and hope for the best. It's always funny to hope for full YOLO. Uh, I really hope that Alish is gonna. We're gonna see Alish next turn. What the next card would be? Uh, th there should be a mode where you can actually like just see what, see, I, what, yeah, what I've got. Yeah, yeah, just see the last card you could have gotten. Actually, Mugla. is that eviscerate? That, that should be eviscerate. I mean, if he the only card that targets or an SA seven agent. Actually, uh, the only card where you can target a hero mid with is Eviscerate or as I seven agent. Shift. Yeah, the shift ain't in there. Shift is not in a backspace. I... <laughs> you know it's SI seven. How does that it? <laughs> Yes, no! it's as like seven agent. Alish, Alish is winning this game. Wow, wow. That was so close. That was so close. What <laughs> <laughs> wins the game here in the end? I, I think Ekov's face just says everything.